Well, there's another update on our Daimler Dart or our Daimler SP250 as it's officially called. As you can see, the body's all painted, still color sanding it. Our Dynamat is in. Uh, this Dynamat stuff is, is fantastic. It really does work as an excellent sound deadening material and it keeps all the heat in the engine bay instead of coming into the compartment. We use that in everything we do. But as you can see, the body has turned out nice. Being a fiberglass car, obviously, it didn't rot. Even though this car, I don't think it had ever been garaged in, <laughs> in 50 years. It always been outside, but the fiberglass, you know, you can just sand it down, do a little bit of filler, and well, you see how good it looks. We got our windshield frame on, we got a few chrome pieces on. You see the shark nose front, we still got to do the grill. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. We got a few things in there, our water bottles in there, and a uh, regulator, and a couple of Lucas things, our little build plate right here. Bumpers are looking nice. Come on, let's show you the chassis, show you what we've got over here. Here's where we're going to cheat just a little bit. Uh, we're going to put this Tremec uh, five-speed in. You know, Tremec gearboxes are unbelievable. It, it, this is the greatest boon to the old car hobby because you can put it behind anything. XKEs, Corvettes, Jaguars. This is meant to run five or 600 horsepower. And this, this car will be about uh, 200 horsepower, something like that. So it'll be totally unstressed. We were going to put the original gearbox in an overdrive unit, and we still have that on the shelf, and we can go back to that at any time, but we just like the Tremec products because they're, uh, uh, they last forever, every single part is available, and they never break. So here it is right here, and it's, uh, it's a pretty light unit. You can do your little bit of workout with this. And that's the chassis. As you see, brakes are on, front end is on. We've done a little bit of bracing in here. This is a pretty rare piece. This is the hard top that fits on this car. This car left the factory with the hard top on it. That's kind of exciting. These cars are rare enough already, and to have the hard top, that makes it uh, an extra rare piece. So, Well, here's the engine over here. Actually, it's in pretty good shape. We'll keep you posted. Watch this space.